G'day Bankheads, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Red Leader One and today we're going to talk about the Meg movie but before we move on with that, those of you who are new to this channel, make sure you go check out my other Meg videos, I'll talk about the movie, the novels, everything about the Meg so go check them out, also subscribe as well because leading up to the release of the film in August I'm going to be doing loads of videos, just information and speculation videos about the film as well so Go check them out and subscribe to the channel as well. All right, today my question is to you guys, the fans of Meg, does it bother you that the shark is not going to be albino in the film like it was in the novel? And those of you who are not too sure, why would the shark be albino? Uh, in the original novel from Steve Ong, Meg, a novel of deep terror, the shark or megalodon shark was a albino uh, looking shark. It looked uh, ghostly white. So reasons before behind that. Not too sure. Uh, my belief is, oh, I'm not an expert at this, that most deep sea creatures in uh, uh, deep sea oceans and that would have this albino look, kind of help with uh, attracting prey. But don't quote me on that. I'm not an expert, but that's the way I, f I feel about it. Now, in the novel, um, one of the most suspenseful parts of the novels actually was when um, people would first encounter the Meg. Uh, they wouldn't see the shark, all they would see was this glow in the distance approaching and approaching and then suddenly this huge shark would attack. So it gave that really suspenseful uh, feeling reading the novel. Um, pretty much most of the attack scenes took place during night uh, in the novels. So um, you can just imagine out in the boat at night, in a distance you see this glowing and thinking, what the heck's that? It's getting closer and it's cl getting closer and it's... The glow is going intenser and larger and larger, and then suddenly this humongous shark head just bursts out of the ocean, and before you even know it, you're um, fish food. So um, very suspenseful feeling, and uh, would love that to have come across into the films, but it, obviously by the trailers, what we've seen so far, the shark is just looking like a normal coloured shark, what we would see today, so um, does that bother me? Uh, a little bit, I would have loved to seen it, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, so um, yeah, so let me know in the comment section guys, are you too bothered about the shark not looking albino? Um, that'd be interesting to find out. Um, so uh, going by the trailer, it looks like that most of the attack scenes take place during the day anyway, so I think the uh, the, the visual effects, or the glowing of the shark wouldn't be as good, a, good as it would be at night, so, but, uh, oh well. Now the reasons behind that, um, th there's not, you know, it's really hard at the moment because you can't really find heaps of information out there, but what we can go on by is that after the trailer was released, uh, obviously a lot of the fanboys would uh, comment to Steve about, uh, you know, changes from the novel to the movie. And one of those questions were, uh, how come the shark's not albino? And I think Steve could only answer the best that he could is that the VFX probably found it probably too hard to um, to uh, Im emulate this shark looking white um, on the big screen, especially during daylight scenes to make it look real on the big screen. Uh, you can also look at it by... Um, uh, how long it would have taken the um, VFX guys to cr create a albino looking shark? Uh, the cost of it, um, th you know, they're probably uh, un you know you got to work within a budget and stuff, and it probably would have cost costed and taken a lot more longer to actually to get this working. Um, as far as I know, the the giant whale in Heart of the Sea, I think it took about seven months and a lot of money to just get that whale looking good on the big screen. So. That might be one of the reasons uh, behind that. So, but uh, yeah, um, I'm not too phased with it. I would have uh, loved to see the albino uh, megalodon shark in the uh, the movie, but we've always got it in the novels as well. So, but uh, yeah, all right, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below your feelings on that. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, I'll see you in the next video. Hmm.